right, so this is representing the matriarch here. This is representing that feminine energy that I was picking up on that's no good. That's up to no good. And she has brainwashed people into siding with her. And maybe she's done that because maybe she's been able to do that because she has money. Finances, riches, some sort of physical stability. But this is toxic. Ooh, this is toxic. Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, welcome. It's very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what is up, squad? So welcome to April 2021. Yeah, please keep in mind that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And this is a general and an energy reading. So we could be talking about anything. Love, career, money, uh, friends, family. What We could be talking about anything, all right? Any, whatever message that needs to come through, for Sagittarius, from whomever, who, for whomever needs to hear it, is what's going to come through here, yeah? So also keep in mind that we could be talking to a cross-watcher, depending on your circumstances. Please keep that in mind. So keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. And if you find that it fits better in your life when you do re reverse the roles, then just take it that way. Just please make sure not to try and force anything into your situation that doesn't naturally fit there, yeah? So... I am available for personal readings if you're interested in that. You could find the information for getting a reading all in the description box below. Also, if you're vibing with me as a reader and you would like some extra content or you'd just like to further support the channel, I highly recommend that you check out Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. Uh, that link can be found in the description box below as well. Uh, daily readings have moved back to YouTube as of April 1st. Morning coffee are my daily readings. So if you'd like to check that out, please make sure you do so. So they're not on Patreon any longer, um, but there's also a bunch of other great stuff on Patreon if you'd like to get in on it. Yes? Okay, so for this month, Sagittarius, we are using the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. And then I'm getting Oracle Guidance from the Oracle of the Unicorns. Because this is spring season, I felt like the unicorns were a perfect fit for that. Yeah? All right, Saji, let's get into your pre-shuffle energies here. So this, this either could be you, Sag, or this could be the people around you. Okay? But the first card out was the Five of Pentacles in reverse. And I like this. I like this because at first it kind of felt like um, you or maybe someone around you was letting go of a lack mentality. Now, that was until the world came out and the world came out in reverse here. So now this is kind of saying to me that there is a blockage. There is a blockage in terms of closing out this cycle. But Sag, it does not have, you do not have to be the person that's going through this blockage of closing out this cycle, okay? Uh, with that, you do have the Seven of Swords, which is upright. And then at the bottom of the deck, you have the Five of Swords. Now, here's the thing, Sag. For some of you, this is a situation in which you are the one that's... Oh, wow. Okay, what I'm hearing is controlling and manipulating the situation. Um, in terms of not wanting to let someone or something go. But that doesn't have to be you. Because I'm also feeling for some of you, especially what, what, with what we've been talking about for so long, Saj, but, you know, here on the channel, in the transformation that you've been going through, this could be the other people that you're dealing with. Maybe this is friends, family, a lover, a, a business relationship. This could be anything. But somebody here is being deceptive seven of swords in order to keep this codependent energy from ending whomever is in this energy of keeping the codependent energy uh flowing or keeping this cycle going of feeling less than or lack or whatnot whatever they're doing it specifically because they are still in this energy themselves whether they are um, siphoning energy from you or they're just in this lack mentality and not wanting to do anything or fix or heal themselves. Ultimately though, Saj, the lesson here or the message here is just stop fighting and walk away. 
Uh-oh, Jinxie's got a lizard. Sorry, my cat Jinx just showed up at the door with a lizard in her mouth. Good idea. Now she's going away. Anyway, really not trying to have to chase down a lizard while I'm doing your reading. Anyway, Sag, the message here is you need to just put down the swords 444 on the counter. You need to just put down the swords and walk away. And that is going to be coming from a place of unconditional love. The chair, um, not the chariot, the ace of cups. But the chariot is at the bottom of the deck underneath the ace of cups. I feel like somebody here needs to just allow themselves to have the confidence that they need to follow through with what they know they need to do in terms of just walking away from this energy. I feel like your heart absolutely is guiding you to do that. Knight of Cups, you have a sense of stability and foundation. Four of Wands, you can let this go. If you're dealing with any sort of darkness and trickery and tomfoolery, it's causing, it's, it's, it's in an effort to help influence you to listen to your intuition. Follow through with what your heart is guiding you to do. Because I feel like whomever is on the receiving end of this manipulation here um, is being guided to love themselves enough to walk away from this lose-lose situation for good. Okay? You have to be the one to put the end to this cycle. You can't have, you can't expect somebody else to do that for you. All right, Saj? Excellent. All righty. So let's get into this here. I'm going to clear this up, give this a few more shuffles, and then we're going to get into the rest of the reading here for you. Yeah? Six of Wands. Victory. So somebody knows that they're victorious here. And actually, I kind of want to say, sorry, mosquito. Yes. Did I? No. Well, all right. I got it now. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, I've actually been chasing that one around, but now it's smashed to smithereens. I not, look, I don't take pride in killing things, but like, stop biting me. Anyway, um, what I was going to say, I just picked up for you, Saj, is you know, you know that you're victorious here. When in you distancing yourself or walking away from situation, from the situation, that's when they really get to that fight energy, that real five of swords energy. That's when you know you've triggered someone. That's when you know, to be honest, you're doing the right thing for you, at least in this situation. I don't want to really speak in general, but in this situation, that's what I'm feeling. You know you're victorious here because you want to and take steps to honor yourself and they don't want you to do that. Mm -hmm. All right, well, that's because, but Sag, that's because they lose control over you. Go figure. All right, let's get into this here and see what else we have for you, Saggy. Here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me clear channel for all Sagittarians at this time. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representation of the energies, of the general energies for Sagittarius for the month of April of 2021. Thank you so very much, Spirit. All right, Sag, five shuffles here for you. One. I'm hearing, Sagittarius, your energy is strong, vibrant, and beautiful, and you should honor yourself for the person that you know you are, not who these people make you out to be. This is two. Because who they are making you out to be right now is only a reflection, a ooh, excuse me, a direct reflection of who they are themselves. It has nothing to do with you. Is three. This is four for my Sagittarians. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April of 2021. And this is five. All right, Saggy. Let's cut the deck here. 
<laughs> All right, overall energies. The Nine of Swords. Yo, these people are toxic. They are filling you with all kinds of anxiety. It is not your fault, Sag. Don't listen to them. Instead, let the tower come down. The tower. You're carrying too many burdens here. Ten of Wands. And there, there's all kinds of confusion. I feel like there are people gaslighting you here. Smoke and mirrors. Trying to throw... And it almost... It feels like... In some circumstances here, Sagittarius, it feels like you may be dealing with an individual. I'm feeling a mother specifically, or maybe this is just family, or maybe this is like a, a, a an aunt. I'm, but I'm I'm picking up on a feminine individual, like a woman. I'm seeing a woman specifically, but it could be a feminine individual in a masculine body. But ultimately, uh, what I'm getting, what I'm picking up on, is like guilt. How certain Parent, parental figures will try and guilt their children into doing things or try and guilt it. It's all a really self-serving energy. That's for damn sure. Okay. You don't need, and, and, I, and, and with this nine of swords energy here, Sag, I feel like some of this nine of swords energy is you wanting to remove yourself, release yourself of the burden, but being afraid of what it is that may happen. But you don't have to be afraid of that. I, what I really want to say is allow this tower to fall because it needs to come down. And what I just heard was it needed to come down ages ago, 11-11 on the counter, all right? Whew. Okay, Sag, first set of surrounding energies for you. We have the Page of Swords. I'm picking up on immaturity. I'm picking up on someone that's maybe watching or stalking you. I'm picking up on um, immature conversation, someone that just is just listening to argue, someone that's just in an immature mindset. Excuse me. The Page of Swords is coupled with the Page of Pentacles. Oh, there goes Liz Jinxie with her lizard, and she brought it inside this time. Oh, well. What are you doing with that lizard, Jinx? <laughs> All right, anyway. Um... Page of Swords, Page of Pentacles. This individual is not offering anything of substance. And then they want to argue with you when you don't accept the tiny little minuscule stuff that they're offering you. Now, normally, I would not look at this Page of Pentacles and think it's all that bad. But what I'm getting from this situation right now, Sagittarius, is that this is a grown-ass man or woman who should know better. And the fact that they either can't give you more or what it is you really deserve or the fact that they just won't is not acceptable. And anytime you or maybe someone else calls them at it, that's when this pettiness, this page of swords bullshit energy comes through in them. And I feel like there are people around this individual or this circumstance that enable them to do so. You're the only one standing up against it. Potentially the only one that has the balls to stand up against it. Because what I'm hearing and feeling is that you see right through it. Sorry, I don't know if you guys could hear that. Anyway, second set of surrounding energies for you, Sagittarius. In the first half of your reading, you've got a high fucking mind, the Three of Cups. This is definitely a hive mind mentality. Uh, which may be causing you a lot of pain and stress. And maybe the Nine of Swords energy also has to do with the fact that if you walk away from this situation, you may be walking away from, I mean, literally hearing you, you are walking away from a whole support system altogether. And sure, maybe it's a support system to a certain extent, but if it's a toxic support system, that's no support system that you need in your life. Period. Three of Cups is coupled with the Queen of Pentacles. All right, so this is representing the matriarch here. This is representing that feminine energy that I was picking up on that's no good. That's up to no good. And I feel like she's, 
This is either a feminine energy in a, in a man's body, in a masculine body, or this is a woman. And she has brainwashed people into siding with her. And maybe she's done that because maybe she's been able to do that because she has money. Finances, riches, some sort of physical stability. But this is toxic. Ooh, this is toxic. Your challenge here, Sagittarius, is the Three of Pentacles. And what I'm getting with this is building your own foundation. Your own financial support system. There's another one. Building your own sense of foundation. This is building on your own. This is the three of pentacles is self mastery. All right. This is influencing you to start building your own sense of, I just heard wisdom and understanding also. Okay. Three of pentacles is coupled with the eight of cups. Yep. You need to just, you need to just walk away from this altogether, Sag, and build your own foundation. Work on providing for you. Start from the ground up. It's not impossible. You can do this. You can do this. Do not allow the circumstances of this situation to convince you that you're nothing without this group. Because trust me, Sag, that's exactly what they want you to think. Why? Because that's what they think themselves. That's how this matriarch has brainwashed people. Uh, but it's for her own sense of security that she's done this. I need you to recognize that. She has her own sense of insecurity and whatnot, whatever, that's keeping her needing these cronies, these lackeys around her. Closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Sagittarius. You've got the Nine of Cups. Uh, I heard comfort zone energy. What I want to say with this Nine of Cups, Sagittarius, is that you are absolutely 100% able to find happiness and fulfillment on your own. You see how this guy has nine cups around him, but there's nobody else in that card with him? He don't care. He's good. He's content. He's got everything he needs. Nine of Cups is coupled with the Four of Wands. There you go. This is you being stable within yourself. I just feel like this is you being stable, grounded, and sturdy. I feel like also the biggest part of this situation for you right now, Sagittarius, is you walking away and getting stabilized on your own. Finding a sense of happiness, contentment, and fulfillment on your own. And the biggest thing right now for you, Sag, is for you to really separate from this and really set the foundation within yourself and rest and settle into that. This is not something that's going to happen in this new life that you need to build for yourself right now. That's all yours. It's all your own without the control or the manipulation of other people. This is not something that's going to happen overnight. And what I'm feeling specifically for you right now, Sagittarius, is that you need to allow yourself the time to settle into this foundation of feeling content and happy on your own, in your own space, in your own mind, with your own thoughts and your own beliefs before you can really start to build any more of that structure. I say this about the four of wands all the time. It's like when you're building a house, you have, to, you, you have this bare plot of land um, and you have to lay the foundation to the house first, right? You pour the foundation, you got to let it dry. Great, the foundation is dry, but that doesn't mean that you can just right away get start building. No, you still have to let it, give it time to settle into the earth before you can, before you can really start to build your house. And that's what I feel like you need to be working on right now. You may have this foundation, this foundational reality in terms of being able to stand on your own but you need to give yourself some time to settle into that first before you can really start to be building what it is you want. Do not allow anybody else to disturb your peace. Keep in mind that you are overburdened here. Not your monkeys, not your, excuse me, not your circus, not your monkeys. Allow the tower to fall. Okay? Woo! All right, Sag.
let's get into the second half of your reading here. Yes? First set of surrounding energies. The Queen of Wands. Okay. Being receptive. I'm sorry. I'm watching a mosquito fly around because... Hold on. I'm going to pause a second. Sorry about that. All right. First set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading, Queen of Wands. This is you settling into the energy of feeling confident enough to know that you can have what it is, know that you can have what it is that you want. I feel specifically, I'm getting specifically that wh whomever some of you are dealing with, they may have worked to damage this or tarnish this within you because they didn't want you to believe, for some reason, they either didn't want you to believe that you could have what you wanted or they didn't want you to believe that you could get it without their approval. Oof, I just heard that, approval. Input, insight, blessing, resources. Like, I feel like whomever it is you're dealing with now worked to make you codependent on them. But this Queen of Wands is the antithesis to that. This Queen of Wands is speaking to you gaining back that sense of clarity and understanding that it is that you are worthy of receiving exactly of exactly what it is that you want and you really don't need anybody else to do so. You can manifest this yourself, right? Queen of Wands is coupled with the Ace of Wands. There you go. That's, all I, that's everything that I was just saying right there. Settling into the receptive energy of knowing that it is, knowing that you can have whatever it is that you want without anybody's approval. The only approval that's needed here is your own. Okay. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Saji. We've got, oof, the Queen of Swords now. Yup. And check it out. The Queen of Swords represents air. The Queen of Wands represents fire. What fuels fire? Oxygen. And the, the thing about the Queen of Swords here is what she's speaking to is the clarity, the truth, and the honesty, and the no bullshit that says, uh-uh, no. No, I can get what I want. This is not up for debate. This is not up for discussion. I don't care what you have to say about it. I do not care what you have to say about it. Because ultimately, this is my world, this is my life, and I can do whatever the fuck I want with it. Just like you've got all these people around you kowtowing to you, whatnot, whatever, I can create my own existence and I don't need your input. Here's that mosquito again. Queen of Swords is coupled with the Eight of Pentacles. Because ultimately, Sagittarius, the truth of the situation is if you put the, the consistent effort into it, you can get what you want. You can receive that which you are worthy of. You can receive that which it is you are inspired to align with. So maybe this is a message for you. Instead of maybe this is something, instead of this being something that you're saying to them, this, it could be a message for you. It's plain and crystal clear, all right? No if, ands, or buts about it. If you do the work, if you stay consistent, and if you go after it, it can be yours. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise, all right? Your challenge here, Sagittarius, in the second half of your reading, is the Empress. Settling into this abundance mindset, recognizing, ow, oh, that was my shin. Oh, sorry, guys. Recogni <laughs> recognizing that abundance is available to everyone not just some people, and not under the stipulations that someone may put on it. No, everyone has a right to abundance. Also, everyone has a right to unconditional love. Oh, 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 okay, oh, okay, cool. The Empress is coupled with the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is giving me an energy of piecemeal. Of just giving enough to, 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 
to sustain, but not really giving all that could be given. I'm feeling a sense of denying someone what's rightfully theirs. And the challenge here is to recognize that someone is not being as truthful or abundant as they're making it out to be. The challenge here, Sagittarius, I feel like is to recognize that you are deserving of more than what you're getting right now. Okay. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Sagittarius, in the second half of your reading, you've, you've got death, change, transformation. It's time to end this cycle. It's time to transform out of this. And I just feel like the strongest message here for you right now, Sag, is that their transformation has to do with you pulling yourself out of this situation and no longer accepting what someone is choosing to give you because of their own selfish ways or whatever. Strength. I'm not strength. Ooh, that's interesting. But having the strength to do so. Okay. Death is coupled with ha, the sun. Seeing clearly. Knowing what it is that's going on around you. Understanding that you have the potential that you need or you have whatever it is that you need at your disposal. You don't need anybody else's approval. The sun is also kind of representing the awareness that something needs to change here, that there's there needs to be a transformation or some sort of growth, okay? But also going through that growth is going to bring great, much, a, a greater sense of awareness and lightheartedness. I'm hearing responsibility also, but this transformation, this death is going to be a happy one. Should you, should you allow yourself to go through it, Okay. All right, Sag, let's close this reading with your oracle guidance here. Three shuffles. One. Oh, let's try that again. One. Two. And three. watching these mosquitoes fly around. All right. Closing Oracle Guidance for my Sagittarians, please. Spirit, for the month of April of 2021. Oh, there it is right there. All right. You have support. Ask for help. Get more rest. Nurture yourself. Feeling tired, burnt out, overwhelmed, or overworked is a call to lighten your load and recharge your batteries. Your energy levels are low and it is proving counterproductive to getting things done or being there for others. You may feel you have to do everything yourself or don't know who to ask for help. A part of you could be addicted to the adrenaline rush of stress and hustle. You may even feel it is a sign of weakness to slow down or that you don't deserve to be nurtured. You have nothing to prove by working yourself too hard or sacrificing yourself by doing everything alone. This winged horse urges you to ask for help, to get more rest, and to be loving to your body. Schedule in non-negotiable time for naps. Set boundaries around your work hours and make getting a good night's sleep a priority. Hire an assistant or other team members for your business. Spend a day at a spa. Book in for a massage or other body treatment. Or simply take a day off to do nothing. Ask your friends and family for help with your kids or invest in additional childcare or a nanny. You are worthy of this support. The extra energy you will have as a result will be worth the time and money you spend to give it to yourself. So there you have it, Sagittarius. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so very much. Again, if you would like to get a personal reading, I am available for that. All the information is in the description box below, as well as uh, the link to my Patreon page, patreon.com slash divineconversations. 
With that said, I hope you have a fantastic month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of May. Yeah? Take care. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs>